It's Monday, or as I've always called it, TechLink Day Number One. We just always call it that in my family. It's like a, it's like a cultural thing. I just grew up with it. Mine too, know. but we start at zero. The PSVR 2 might not be the only new PlayStation hardware coming out next year, according to yet another report claiming that Sony is working on a PS5 Slim to launch in Q3. But thick is in now. <laughs> we need a PS5 thick. Chalky boy. <laughs> That's only fair, I mean, Xbox got a little mini-me, the PS5 deserves one too. Even consoles need a little friend. Apparently, Sony has been able to significantly reduce the size of the current PS5 by shrinking down the processor die, thereby reducing its power and cooling requirements. Which means, unlike the Xbox Series S, the PS5 Slim will probably just be lesser in size, not in strength. We love a short, slim, and strong king. Like Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Sony is also working on a cutting edge technology that will allow you to lay the console horizontally without needing a specialized stand to do so. No one's been able to figure this out until now. It's very exciting. Twitter isn't the only social media giant run by a strange billionaire with questionable business goals that lead to mass firing sprees. A report from the Wall Street Journal says that Meta could, Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hi, could lay off a boatload of people starting in the middle of this week with thousands of people reportedly set to get the ax. Content moderators, probably. <laughs> I hope not. And not the good kind. A vax? Just as an Body option. <laughs> Meta and its previous Pokemon Evolution, Facebook Inc., have never had a mass layoff in their history. But seeing as the company's stock is down a whopping 73% so far this year, it looks like Meta has been forced to cut costs, primarily meat-based ones. Now they have to meet in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this. Zuckerberg himself has already said most teams at Meta will shrink in size or simply not grow, and Meta shares actually went up after the news broke about the layoff, so I guess this whole metaverse thing is gonna happen after all. They thought the metaverse team was getting laid off. <laughs> They're like, wait, you just kept all of them? And you already know to stay away from fake news sites, I hope, but now you need to watch your step with real news websites. It's the mainstream media, bro. When before you could trust those 100%. Last week, it was revealed that a hacking group infiltrated a media company's infrastructure. Don't worry, it wasn't us, obviously, to inject malware into over 250 different news sites serving major markets in the United States. The malicious code was placed into a piece of JavaScript that these news websites would load up, resulting in a fake browser update notification, which probably wasn't successful at tricking the types of seniors who never update precisely because they don't want to get hacked, like my dad. So as always, be really careful what you click on, even if it came from that amazing, trustworthy website providing totally unbiased commentary. I mean, that describes us. It's called flooding the zone with shit. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Jackery, who's celebrating their 10th anniversary with a 100% win rate giveaway. How is this possible? You could win prizes like coupons, a Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro, and a Jackery 10th anniversary gift package. <gasps> What's in there? No. Power. The giveaway takes place until November 15th, so you've still got some time to enter. Check out the link below and help celebrate Jackery's 10th anniversary by winning some great prizes. But prizes prizes <laughs> Hey, how about you give me the quick fits this time? <laughs> Shoot, again! <laughs> As you, can, you couldn't. Elon Musk has announced that any accounts engaged in impersonation on Twitter without being clearly marked as parody will be permanently suspended. He's butthurt. Doesn't suspended mean temporary? To be fair to Elon, impersonation has been a problem on the service, even with the checkmark thing. But it was funny that the announcement came after tons of accounts started using Elon's face and name, leading to the account ban of at least one high profile comedian. It's the classic, physical comedy is hilarious until you're the one getting flattened with a piano situation. Happens to me all the time. Microsoft is trying to reduce its overall power cost and carbon footprint, and its latest move to achieve this goal looks to be targeting Xbox consoles. They're coming for your bacon. <laughs> My frames! Some users in the Xbox Insider program have been sent surveys about an opt-in to reduce FPS and resolution to in turn reduce power consumption. But I only have 30 to begin with. <laughs> it's gonna be more cinematic. Sounds delicious. 
It's unclear whether this will become an actual feature at some point, or if asking people to voluntarily get less performance out of their expensive consoles will be at all popular. But the planet will thank you. Just a couple frames. Spare a few frames? People love low settings. For the forest? Intel has clarified a previous report that you'd need the Intel management engine installed to update the firmware on discrete ARC GPUs. The Intel management engine is a component that's only found on, you guessed it, Intel CPUs. But Team Blue has come out and said you actually don't need it, and ARC firmware can be updated just fine, even if you have a processor made by those people at Team Red. If you were flying anywhere in Spain on Friday, you may have hit delays after the country closed its airspace due to an uncontrolled Chinese rocket re-entering the atmosphere. Now don't worry, we're not on the verge of a Sino-Spanish war, as the rocket was delivering a space station module to the Spanish countryside. No, it was coming. A divot, this... a crater is what <laughs> That's a good spot. This isn't the first time a piece of Chinese space debris threatened other parts of the world, and it's getting kind of annoying, but it is great advertising, though. Did you know China had a space station? I, I did. I ordered one on Alibaba. <laughs> and here's something you never knew you needed. To celebrate the launch of the McCrispy sandwich in the UK, McDonald's is giving away a gaming chair, including French fry and dip holders. My ass made a chicken nuggets, why not the chair? <laughs> and even a burger warming box to keep your Big Mac hot while you game. You have until the 13th to enter to win one of four chairs in existence, but unfortunately, entry is restricted to residents of England, Scotland, and Wales. Yet another insult for the Irish. No gaming with a fancy seat? Feckin' Big Macs, you're dreamin'. But you are welcome to sit in any chair you please when you come back on Wednesday for more tech news. I mean, huh. <laughs> Tech link day number two. Or one. Day, day one, Tuesday. Zero. Day two. It's too many.